I have a question for all of the R plus L equals J supporters out there. How would John being a Targaryen actually play out? I mean, the source of this information is a tree. The information was magically obtained by his presumed dead, crippled half-brother, who I guess is his cousin now, who claims to have journeyed far beyond the wall on Hodor's back with two Kranigmen, where he met up with Bloodraven, a 120-something-year-old guy that is attached to a tree in a cave. So, this tree guy in a cave taught him how to see the past through the Weirwoods, and Bran then used this newly acquired skill to tap into the Weirwoods, which showed him the Tower of Joy and John's birth. So, is that what John's going to go around telling everybody? That's not even including the fact that he died following a mutiny in the Night's Watch and is now somehow revived. Let's just, like, try to take a moment to predict how some of the characters in the story would react to hearing such news. Let's start off with, with Stannis here. Now... Because Stannis likes John, in his sort of weird Stannis way, he would probably say something to him like, I'm beginning to think that death has robbed you of your wits, John. And then he would move on with his life and never even think about it ever again. Cersei would tear the letter in half and pour herself another glass of wine. Danny and Aegon would challenge John in the validity of his story, and let's be honest, they would win. Not only because she has dragons, and Aegon has one of Rhaegar Targaryen's closest companions with him, which obviously builds his credibility, but because both of them look Targaryen. If Westeros was ever even to accept another Targaryen ruler, the two of them have a significantly greater chance of sitting the Iron Throne than John with his absolutely bizarre story, Ned-like looks, and white direwolf. Even if Howland Reed did crawl out from whatever rock he's been hiding under to somehow corroborate the story John's trying to sell, no one respects Cranigman, and therefore no one would take what he had to say seriously. So, John's ability to do anything of substance with his newly discovered ancestry would be negligible at best. It would, like, literally take every single person vying for the throne to just throw in the towel and have some sort of Breaking Bad moment where they're just like, fuck it, I'm gonna make meth. <laughs>